I am here at 195 Piccadilly, and I am knee deep in the cream of the games industry talent. Somehow they've let me through security, and honestly, I am not complaining. So before I get kicked out, let's find some people to talk to. feels fantastic. I mean, it's, it's one of the, the things we tried to do right from the get-go, right? Is do something unique with the game and give people a fresh version of these characters and, you know. Reach out with that sentiment and, uh, you know, just thank you to to the fans, everyone who's played the game. It's been, it's been a wild, incredible ride and I think it's far surpassed anything we could have ever expected. You know, the gameplay is excellent and, and super challenging and, 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 and fantastic. But there's this psychological human story that's running alongside that. And I think that people, um, you know, when they play it, they keep going back to that journey. It captures them in a way because it's, it's very human. The idea actually came from a uh, real life unpack when uh, Tim moved in with me. Um, yeah, and there was something very game-like about the activity. A, a lot of games deep down are about um, creating order out of chaos, but this game does it pretty literally. Were there any favorite moments throughout development? For me, it was the first time I got the kind of the beta version or something like that, and like, oh man, there's a lot of potential. Hopefully we can, you know, put it together in the coming months, and uh, like the atmosphere and all that, you're going into this mystery, and you know, all that, all the thing that at home when I had a chance to play it for the first time in like year. So that was kind of a full moment for me, but hey, this is something. That you know, in our industry is constantly evolving. We recognize that diversity is at the heart of innovation and creativity. So there's so much room for everyone. And that's what is so brilliant about these awards is that I think it gives a platform to recognize so many different games, whether they're huge AAA titles or small, tiny teams making this game out of love. Whatever story you want to tell, games are an amazing medium to tell that story. Guess what? I am still here. I have not been kicked out yet. Security hasn't found me. I'm pretty good at hide and seek, actually. So let's find some more of that juicy industry gossip. But you got to promise, it's just between you and me. By the way, it's my ship. It's my ship. And you should have let me drive. I tell you all the time, I know the Atlantic Airways better than anyone. But no, he doesn't let me drive. OK, how many times have I told you, you don't touch my tech, you don't touch my ship? My ship. And blah, blah, Flark and blah. Agent 47 himself. <laughs> I said to the Hitman fans that if I get nominated, I will get a real tattoo barcode on the back of my head. Were there any bugs that stood out, maybe? Anything that really needed to be quashed? Um, well, I think the funniest bug was uh, the one with the drawer just like shooting out like uh, very, very fast. There's so, so many of those and unfortunate ones as well. <laughs> Not so funny either. We had one where sometimes items would, would get locked and appear in the wrong room and it would be like, where did that item come from? It felt like someone was pranking us. So if you win a BAFTA tomorrow, where are you gonna keep it? Uh, I'm gonna probably dig a hole in my backyard and uh, and just, just yeah. And the thing is, I got a lot of raccoons in my backyard, so it might be a little tough, so maybe that's not a good idea. Now, I've heard all these sexy stories from Kate Winslet and everyone going, oh, I keep it in the bathroom so people can go in there and go, you know. <laughs> okay, no, I'd put it right next to my bed so I can look at it all the time. I'm gonna turn it into a necklace and wear it around my neck at all times. Do you know how heavy those things are? It'll be like, yeah, it'll be like uh, something like this, but you know. Oh my God, I don't know. We uh, we plan to move like uh, either later this year or early next year, so we'll figure it out then. I mean, I think you're both experts at doing that, so I think you'll be fine. Ooh, do you know what? I'd put it in my mom's house. Yeah. My I know. Put it in my mom's house. And my mother, and so when my mom has guests over, she'll be like, hey, yeah, my son, he won that. <laughs> Can you imagine the look on his sibling's face when he comes in and does that? I'll have to think about that and I'll get back to you. I think there are more deserving people there in our, in our team that should have to, you know, 
the ones, if I, if I have any, that's, that will be at the office for sure. Well, we came, we saw, we conquered security, and we fangirled out a lot over some amazingly talented people. So, back to me and Frankie in the studio.